Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? Bring you guys another video today and today I got the control freaks and we're gonna go ahead and open them up. Uh, I don't know if you guys wanted a, a uh, <clears throat> an unboxing or unbagging, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one anyways. Um, so let's get started. All right, well, I got a knife. Um, it seems that I never have the right tool, right? So here's the scuff. I've been playing it. I've been playing with it for a little bit last night. It's awkward, I'll tell you that. Control freaks. Package open. Let's see what it got. Some stickers. I don't know where I'll put these on, but I'll find a place for them. Stickers, just the manual, the receipt. Let's see what else is in there. Let me, let me make sure there's nothing in there. All right. <clears throat> All right. So here we are. The Phantoms and the CQC. Mm, I don't know if you guys care for the name of them. So let me go ahead and open them up. <clears throat> the thing is that if some of you that are watching don't know what these are for, these go on your analog sticks and they actually improve your aim. People don't think so, but they do. I like to get the longer, the, 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 the biggest one on the right. It helps you. Uh, it helps you aim better. You know, you have control and the, you have way more leverage of where you want to aim. Here's a black one. Here's a white one. The difference gives you the size. This one's a lot taller. This one's a lot shorter. Another thing, guys. These also, a lot of people don't know, but these will protect your joysticks from here from rubbing off. And they'll rub and rub and rub and rub off that eventually you'll just have a plastic and you won't have that rubbery feeling anymore. So these actually protect your, your, your joysticks. By leverage, what I mean, this movement here, if I'm aiming and I try to do a small adjustment, it's a lot harder because I don't have enough leverage coming up. Now when I put these on, when I snap them on, you just put them on there and you just push them in and you're all set to go. Feels good. Next one. All right guys, I don't know what happened. The video just uh, cut out, so I had to redo this one. So you guys will probably see a cutscene there. But all right, what I was saying about the leverage, now I have more space and more of a more sensitive touch to it you know I, I i could make make smaller adjustments to it than just you know i'll bring this this one that right there that's a big difference in a joystick so that's what what helps you out with your aim so this helps out a whole lot if you guys can't get a scuff controller at least get control freaks they are they're amazing, man. I mean, ever since I've been using them, I like them. I had to get this black one, domed. Concave, I guess they're all right, but I prefer dome. For this one, it doesn't really matter for me because I don't, you know, I don't stick my thumb like that. I usually play on the edge of the controller. Uh, feels real good. I want to keep the same uniform, white and black, so that's what I did. Um, but yeah, I actually been playing with the scuff controller. I'll probably do a review a lot later. Uh, it is a little funky, not funky, but it's awkward playing with it, getting used to clicking the back buttons. It is a little, it's, it's a little tricky. It takes some time to get used to. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's it. I will put the link down below for Control Freaks for the website, just in case if you guys want to go ahead and, and uh, get some. Uh, they do have the new Black Ops 3. I didn't want them. I actually like this, this, this skull. I know it was from Ghost, but you know... I like the feeling of it and and the texture to them it's real 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 good and they're really comfortable they it takes minimal amount of time to get used to them you'll get used to them right away I'll say a good game a good three hour gaming session and you might be good yeah. all right guys sorry about that it cut off again but uh, like I was saying 
a good game session, maybe three hours will, will be good. Um, but yet again, I don't know, it depends on people. Different people have different, uh, uh, I don't know, They some people get, get the hang of it right away than other people, so it really depends on you. Um, but yeah, another thing guys, I will be making a week six NFL picks uh, video, just not right now. Uh, but I do predict the Atlanta Falcons to win today. I'll say a good, uh, I'll say a good 34-27. Uh, it is a divisional rival game, so we'll see what happens. But the rest of the games, I'll be picking out some this, you know, someday coming soon. All right, guys, I'll go ahead and catch you guys next time, and have a good one. Peace.